Meridian. Hello everyone, I'm Kitko and welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn. So in the last episode we went into Sunfall, the palace. Um, I found out that the high priest was trying to get up, get everyone or hire on people to uh, kill someone and you know he's innocent, we saved him. He had us uh, help uh, a woman to get the royal out, which was like a child in his mother out uh, so they were united or reunited with the Sun King so now we actually get him back to the actual main story quest and I'm it's a short drop from there um and um it's kind of hilarious how I just fought off some of these soldiers and um, they're not trying to kill me after we got the royal family out. But it wasn't us, it was the lady. <laughs> Woo! What? The other side of the tower. Look for a vent. Oh, were we supposed to come down here? I think we were supposed to hop on those and then climb down here. But whoops. I see you've been here before. Obviously. No. It's very important that you hear what I'm about to say. Mm -hmm. I've shown you the way in, but this humble vent marks a point of no return. Before you descend into the depths here, you should be fully committed, equipped, and focused. No distractions. If you have errands to run, do them first or hold your peace. I won't tolerate whining. Is that clear? You'll tolerate what I give you, Silence. I didn't ask you along for the ride. Okay, so... Hmm. So I wonder how much will we have to go through before we... Hmm. So we have this... I feel like the DLC would be able to... Yeah, I don't think that's an issue. But... They said that the other... Mother's Hearth or whatever... A Mother's Arms... Like a quest is supposed to lead us back there? Um, but I'm not sure where the other one, so, hold on, give me one second. Okay, so, um, the remaining power cells are basically coming from main quest, so I will have to finish this anyway. And since we got the side quest done that we can get at this time, we're fine. Also, I just don't want to do hunting grounds. So yeah, let's go. I'm heading down. I've spent a lifetime trying to uncover the secrets of this world. Where the machines came from. How the old ones achieved such marvels only to fall into silence and death. A lifetime of failure as year by year after decade, I hit walls I could not break, doors I could never breach. Hello. Until a Nora Huntress marched out of the Savage East. And, voila, for her, all the deepest secrets of the Earth were laid bare. I suspect you will have an easier time with this door than I did years ago. Hold for identity scan. Genetic profile confirmed. Entry authorized. Malfunction. 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 Are you kidding me? You don't hear me laughing. Shut up. There's gotta be another way. Hey! Elizabeth Sobek here! Requesting access! Access request acknowledged. Root command functions available. Do you wish to proceed? I do! Get me through this door! Analyzing. Primary access inoperable due to mechanical failure. Emergency venting procedure likely to circumvent blockage. Do you wish to proceed? What? Yes. Emergency 
Emergency venting authorized. Venting, got it. Everything. That will draw attention. We won't have this place to ourselves for long now. We? Last I checked, I was the one risking my life down here. Yes, fine. Now, will you please get moving? There's so much to learn in less time than I'd hoped. <sighs> okay. Is all of my stuff fully stuff? Okay. Welcome to Project Zero Dawn. Zero Dawn. We found it. Are you really so surprised? Facility diagnostics detect multiple failures. Attempting repair. So, what was this room? An entrance hall, perhaps. Have a look around. Okie dokie. Another incident. This morning's unfortunate incident with Dr. Pop Popovich is another example of reception's need for additional support. We appreciate that Zero Dawn is an immensely complicated project as the staff who serve on the front line were tired of being neglected. As we have already requested, we need human translators, fluent in Polish for example, security staff who can subdue and rage, embryologists for example, and dermal sedatives to calm persons who are screaming in Polish while hurling chairs and vases at reception staff for example. Yes, most of the candidates are reasonably calm and well behaved, but we need help handling the exceptions to that rule. Please respond. Okay. You're probably just like, what's Polish? It's a language, though. We need support, too. Reception staff continues to require additional support managing Z Z ZD candidates when they arrive at the facility. Many are frightened or confused. Some are highly agitated. These are not the short sort of persons who are accustomed to having information withheld from them. At minimum, we need human translators. The la la Lang bots are not sufficient, and mouse data for the extreme cases. Any and all support would be welcome. Perhaps you could start by responding to one of these mails. Okay. I can just imagine what the language bots are, are. Like, I wonder if it just sounds like Google where things can be mistranslated. Please take a seat and wait for your name to be called. A selection of beverages and snacks are available. A smaller room. Uh. Uh. <laughs> I don't think there would be any beverages or snacks being served to me right now. Hello. Soundproofing. Would it be possible to improve the soundproofing between VR1 and the lodge area? Most of the candidates stay quiet during their presentation, but the roles who scream but the ones who scream or sob can be plainly heard by candidates waiting their turn in the lodge. Just a thought. <laughs> like a and then the people who's waiting are just like please proceed into viewing room one for an important message regarding the purpose of your visit okay oh item restock or else for the fifth time, please restock the lodger's selection of herbal teas. If I have to listen to one more egghead throw a tantrum because we're out of the organic cucumber, mint, or blackberry sage variantals, 
I am going to lose it. Please respond. And this time, no tempest in the teapot or steep demand jokes, okay? Seems like uh, they don't have their request looked at almost, like it's ignored. Holographic theater. ZBL1 data intact. Initiating playback. Welcome to Project Zero Dawn. I am General Harris, Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff of the United States of America. I'm sure you've heard the rumors that Zero Dawn is a top secret super weapons program, the technological miracle that will save us from the Pharaoh Plague. If Operation Enduring Victory can hold off the robots long enough. The reason I'm sure you've heard the rumors is that I'm the one who spread them. And they are all lies. Zero Dawn is not a super weapons program. And it will not save us. Nothing will save us. And here's why. By the time the glitch was noticed, it was already too late. Nothing could stop the Pharaoh Plague. Nothing can. Its robots will continue to replicate and devour the biosphere. Life on Earth will be destroyed. Our planet reduced to a barren sphere. Global extinction is inevitable. No matter how many we kill, the robots just keep exponentially making more. If we had their deactivation codes, we could shut them all down. The entire swarm. But since their cryptographic protocols use polyphasic entangled waveforms, cracking a code set would take half a century. At best, we've got 16 months. Not exactly what you'd call a survival option. The destruction of a biosphere is not the sort of apocalypse you can wait out in a fallout shelter or a space station. There will be no Earth left to reclaim. Just a lifeless, toxic rock with several million pharaoh robots on it, hibernating waiting for something to eat. This is the horrible truth behind the lies of Operation Enduring Victory. My lies, lies designed to inspire millions of innocents to sacrifice themselves in battle. Why? One reason. To buy time for you and the work you will do here. Zero day. The day that life on Earth ceases to exist is coming fast. It cannot be stopped. The hope of Zero Dawn is that something new might come after. But I will leave it to Elizabeth Sobek to shine that thin ray of light into the darkness. Harris, out. Wow. Cease to exist. He said it could not be stopped. But it was. Somehow, somehow Elizabeth saved us. I've, I've got to keep looking. Find out how she did it. You know why I'm here? I'm gonna switch clothes, outfits. I wear Nora stuff. Been wearing non Nora stuff for a while. Actually, no. No, yeah, that's Nora. <laughs> I've been nor noring it out. I switch back if I need to sneak past something. Oh, there's some. Kestrels. They got in through the vents. Let nothing stop you from learning the truth. Spread out! If it moves, kill it! What is this place? Two? Man. Whoops. The old ones are dead. 
she is not. Find her. Can't get all the way up in there. I know that there's already a lot to take in. In the waiting area, I was seated with a noble laureate in biophysics and a monk, I think. He spoke neither English nor Mandarin. It is very strange. And General Harris? What was he talking about? The robot swarm, the pharaoh plague? I understand it is terrible, but it really cannot be stopped. Why tell us this? There are people in Shanghai, my friends, my family. They have joined Operation Enduring Victory already. It is for nothing? We will all die? We're going to be able to answer some of these questions. I just want to know why I am here. It doesn't make sense to me. You were brought here because of your skill set. No, that can't be right. I am an art historian. I know Dutch masters, Japanese calligraphy, uh, Gerhard Richter. What does that matter now? Uh, well, they don't come back over here. monstrosities. They don't just kill people. They feed off them. Not just people. All organic matter. Every living thing dissolves into nutrients. Millennia of evolution liquefied. The miracle of life reduced to bloody biofuel. In a word, yes. Who did this? Pharaoh? That asshole. Is he here? No, Doctor. Please, tell him Tom Pike wants a word. Now, get off! Get off! Doctor, please! You get Ted Pharaoh in here! You okay? Want to discuss? Whew. So, Mama, she was right. Pardon? My mother, she took her Bible real serious. Not just Texas Bubble serious, Pentecostal serious. Favorite chapter? Revelations. Now, I didn't always understand her on account of all that speaking in tongues and such, but when she did use her words, it was always end times this and the lake of fire that on account of sinful lifestyles. Speaking of which, mind if I smoke? A tobacco cigarette. Sorry, darling. My taste run classic. Compliments your team tracked me down. Been a price on my head 18 months now. Sterling Malky was me, don't mind admitting. Been plenty of snakesters chasing the bounty too. But I kept the zigging to their zag. How'd you finger me? I believe Dr. Sobek listed you as an alpha candidate. Priority snatch and grab. Always suspected she had a little thing for me. Hey. I don't suppose you got real coffee in this place. You know, blood coffee, conflict cappuccinos. Mr. Tate, I'm clearing you to proceed. Just go. Mm. You previously worked for Ferro Automated Systems. On the chariot line self-replication routines? <laughs> I came here thinking this was a, a rendition. When your people took me, I, I thought, about time. I've been trying to swallow the guilt 
every day since... Since, uh... Would you like to take a moment? No, 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 I, I just... I really hoped Zero Dawn was a way to undo it all. My work. And I'm sorry to say I was ever proud of it, but tech could really sell a concept. And, and, and in the labs, in the, the, the light of creation, that first test run, when, when you saw they understood their own structures, could rebuild themselves from memory and light. There were no limits. God, there were no limits. Uh, I got it. Consular guidelines. Uh, you guys can read these on your own if you would like to. three up here. He didn't even say anything. Just like, well, I'm on by myself now. <laughs> I'm like, hey. Thing was 
Suzanne Alpert, environmental scientist. Doctor? I'm sorry, I wasn't, uh... Just stating your name. What were you thinking about, Doctor? Nothing the General said, not really. I was on the Syzygy East response team in 2051, just after the second earthquake compromised the reactor. I still dream about it, after all these years. The red zone spreading on the imaging, slowly, so slowly, like a hand opening its fingers. Your involvement in that event is why you were asked for by name. Really? That's interesting. Because nothing worked. Nothing could grow there again. It was a catastrophic failure. But the red zone is a blip compared to global-scale biomass reduction. The biosphere and hydrosphere will collapse, render the Earth uninhabitable long before the robots finish us. Enduring victory can't buy time against that. So, you'd better show me what Zero Dawn really is. Hmm. We really don't know what Zero Dawn is. I'm sure you now understand the urgency of why we brought you here, Ms. Okilo. Captain Okilo, are you trying to thank me for not resisting? I believe we couldn't negotiate a diplomatic solution. When it came to my country's lithium, it was always a swarm that would be sent to negotiate. Metallurgic International, U.S. Robot Command. The markings changed, but the robots were the same. You have had considerable experience in human-robot conflict. Yes, and I've got the prosthetic limbs to show it. Yet I continue to face this horror, even though the challenge was great. Cyber warfare. I thought Zero Dawn would be a, a Manhattan project to generate the deactivation codes. With the resources I had, I estimated code-breaking to be a hopeless endeavor. I was almost looking forward to being proved wrong. Unfortunately, your estimation was correct. As your General Hera said. So then, you did not bring me here to commiserate. What is left? Hmm. Look, uh, let's cut the mystery. You're building a colony ship. It's obvious. And it's not going to fly. I mean, literally. Remember the Odyssey? That multinational heap of space junk that's been in graveyard orbit since 57? That went nowhere real slow. And you have to get somewhere real fast. I, do you have any idea the immensity of the challenge to prep a new colony ship in time? To be clear, I'm not a worker on the project. Do you even understand how few people it could save? The whole generation ship concept is, is not going to happen. It's the first thing you'd abandon in favor of embryonics. Uh, for that kind of storage we're talking, a lot of bulk, a lot of power, a lot of resources. So even if you do it, even if you build it and point it at Sirius X, there's no room for people on that thing, all right? If you could try to remain calm. But you people are crazy if you think you're getting off this rock. No one's getting off. Medical. Huh. Yeah, I don't think it has anything to do with a colony. Uh, you know what was I supposed? Oh, so maybe it was just an easier way to get by the people. Ah, uh, okay. So yeah, I think it just a, was a way to sneak past them. And have a, a place to hide. Because I seriously doubt they can crawl. i never seen them crawl. CDO2 data intact. Initiating playback. Elizabeth Sobeck. You've heard the bad news, and it's all true. The Pharaoh Plague is devouring the biosphere. Life itself will cease to exist. But does that have to be the end? What if we could give life a future? 
What if we could build a kind of seed from which, on a dead planet, life could blossom anew? This is the aim, the hope, of Project Zero Dawn. To create a super intelligent, fully automated terraforming system and bring life back from lifelessness. What would such a system require? At its core, it would need a true AI, fully capable of making the trillions of decisions necessary to reconstitute the biosphere. An immortal guardian, devoted to the reflourishing of life. We call it Gaia. Mother Nature as an AI. But that's just the core of the system. She will need to be surrounded and empowered by a comprehensive suite of subordinate functions. Think of them as extensions of Gaia's mind, each dedicated to a specific purpose. Now these aren't AI. Ah, uh, no one of those going to be head Hades. Presents an engineering challenge more profound than anything the human species has ever before attempted. Hardware that preserves and then gestates the billions of seeds and embryos from which life will be reborn. The construction of underground facilities to hold it all. And that's just the start. We don't have to build the entire system. Oh, yeah, the Hades is on there. The automated terraforming system is that it can build itself. Now, over the days to come, you'll learn how all these functions, all these pieces that you'll be working on, fit together. How we'll race the clock to execute our harvest initiatives, write the software, build the tech and the facilities. How we'll lock it down and seal it up before the inevitable occurs. But even more important, you'll know how it doesn't end here. How Gaia will generate those deactivation codes General Harris talked about. And build the transmission arrays to broadcast them, shutting down the feral robots for good. How Gaia will not just build, but imagine any conceivable robot it needs to do its work across centuries. From detoxifying the Earth's ravaged atmosphere and poisoned seas, to the regreening of the Earth from cryopreserved seed stalks, to rewilding the Earth with animal life. And then, when all that is done, how a new generation of human beings spawned at cradle facilities around the globe will partake of Apollo. The vast archive of human knowledge and cultural achievement from which they will learn of us, our world, and most important, how not to repeat our mistakes. It's not an impossible dream. It is within what our does class, Hades do? We work tirelessly and stop at nothing to achieve it. They didn't say what Hades is supposed to be doing. We can't stop life from ending, but if you will help me. We can give it a future. Join me and help make that future. I mean, Hades had like the standard power button. So like, does Hades supposed to like turn everything off once everything is done? The whole earth destroyed, but then remade? Yes, by a machine, a machine of creation. Elizabeth did this for life for us but why Hades then if it was part of Gaia how did it end up in the wreckage of a feral robot and why does it want to kill me and Apollo the archive of knowledge what happened to that I'm as confused as you are maybe the answers lie ahead I was about to say, like, if, uh, sounds like the Nora was right about, like, uh, as far as, like, the mother being the Earth, what they saw was the, the machine that had a voice. Did I get everything back here? Emitter. That's fine. Okay. Uh 
pause if you would like to read it. Okay. Um. Anything else? that this was never about your culpability. Uh, it is to me. Dr. Sobek, Margo, they were smart to get out of Pharaoh when they did, but, but not one of us took it as a warning sign. It, it just told ourselves they weren't cut out for the BTRI cabals. Uh, that's the, the better than rapid innovation. Uh, better at competing, better than the next guy, a, a better killing machine. Uh, it's just amazing how a century and a half of science fiction did nothing to swerve our species from the path of doom. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm done with that life. I mean, I, I will work hard, twice as hard to earn this for, for my family to have a place in Elysium. I never thought I that there could be uh, atonement. Uh, by what it says is right. I would, I would seriously hope that in the future, like we won't, like the world won't actually be experiencing this kind of stuff. So just like. We've been creating apocalyptic storylines and stuff for like decades. <laughs> like, who actually wants that stuff to be a reality? If you're still nauseous, no, the inhibitors have kicked in. I can't feel the back of my tongue. I wish I could tell you I'd believe in this. But the damage is too great, too extensive, too complete. With all respect to Dr. Sobek's work at Miriam, no. No, life doesn't always find a way to keep going. Sometimes it never comes back. Like Syzygy East. Like the Congo. Like Timor. Like us. That's our reward? A buried city full of terminal patients waiting out the clock? You grow all together with your loved ones in safety. I don't have loved ones. I suppose I could start a family. I'm afraid not. All inhabitants of Elysium will be medically sterilized. Oh. <laughs> a habitat capable of sustaining a starting base of 2,000 individuals for up to 100 years is a huge challenge, Dr. Albert. If the population grows instead of diminishes, everyone will be dead inside 30 years. I knew it. I just couldn't bring myself to say the words. I'm sorry. Finish it. Medical euthanasia. I want no part of this. I just want it over. I see. Protocols require a 48-hour waiting period, after which... Hmm. After which... to make sure I behave this time. Medical security in excess. for your protection. Would you like to discuss how you're feeling? Sure. I'll tell you. Surprised. No, flabbergasted. Like my old man would say, flabbergasted. That vein pumping in his forehead. I thought, I thought you people were just completely underprepared for a space flight project. But now I can see it's worse. Much worse. Sobek is a total fantasist, a, a dangerous fantasist. This kind of blue skying, it, it's... <gasps> Jesus! I'm sorry we wasted each other's time. I'm ready to leave now. I'm afraid that's not possible. <laughs> Everything you're talking about here isn't possible. I recommend you read the documents regarding your options. I've seen enough. I'm getting out of here. What are you... You know... Get your hands off me! Seems like the people that uh, Starbeck picked was like not able to leave. Like they had to stay. 
I mean, like, it's safer than being out there, though. Yeah. Because, I mean, like, what? How will you remain safe? What is this? Jumping off the tables. Stranded shackles. Stranded shackles? Like actual shackles? to see this mysterious item is valuable only to the most curious merchants shackles made from an unknown smooth material everything back there. The intruder! Get her! They know I'm here now. Oh, Bauhaus and the new materialists, but he once attended one of my talks. 
another unfair chance of all the many people in the auditorium that we should both be here now and yet i feel more accepting of my fate no it is not fair not at all but for the sake of my family for the sake of art Art is alive. It must be able to speak from beyond history and echo in the future, not perish into oblivion. This opportunity, I must do this. Okay. Now, those lame FBI black hats at Mockingbird back in the day, I enjoyed schooling them. But maybe I went in too hard on this poor counselor. She was cute and just going down a checklist after all. Couldn't expect her to see how ridiculous Zero D's ambitions are. God's own budget thrown at a kid playing with a hologram sculptor. Palms up, honey. I'm just calling it like it is. Hey, look, Mom, I'm making nature. Now, if nature is so important, why not let nature take its course? Extinction? That's natural. Zero Dawn? and oh, man, that ain't. Heck, it's so unnatural it'd be called an abomination back home, and you know it. That's why you're hiding it. Meanwhile, my little honey of a counselor, she's munching the inside of her cheek. Bad habit. <laughs> she chewed one of her nails, too, just one. Not your day, was it, little sweet pea? Saw her quota slipping away. Said, I assume you intend to decline the assignment, Mr. Tate. <laughs> you kidding me? 18 months hard labor in exchange for 30 years lounging around Elysium watching porn? <laughs> Sign me up. Okay. Okay, somehow he managed to install an H emitter node backwards. Everything's in reverse. reverse. I don't get paid to clean up Brett's messes. If you want it fixed, send him up to storage for a new emitter, not me. Parker out. Okay. Hey, I'm done with Brett's incompetence. Okay, somehow I he managed to install. Do that. Stop it. Probably accidentally pressed the button again. Okay, so it's gonna be backwards, so whatever I find, I'm gonna have to put it in backwards. Gotcha. Ah, it even shows it backwards. Okay. There's a part missing. There is? Maybe there's a storage area nearby. What is missing? Okay, so technically it's supposed to be that one, but it's backwards. So this one is backwards, or are they both backwards? Okay, so this one is not backwards. So we need. I probably should. Up. Oh, that's fine. Left. Down. Right. Done. I should check the door nearby. Oh, well, we can't do these. Oh. So, this one... There's still power to the door.
Oh. Oh gosh, girl, get down. Found one. Looks in that Okay. What was this? Who put the rope there? I wish I could drop down from here. That should do the trick. Now let's get that door. Okay, so it's upside down, backwards. So. So, like, if when we did this one, I did it from this side. So. That means we'll have to do up, low, down, right, up, right, up. Nope, that's not it. Oh! Down, right, up, left, down. Not that either. So I guess it is in the order. Alright. So. Okay. So that is. That is correct. That is correct. That is correct. That, oh, just need to switch this one. And then this one needs to be up. Excuse me, what? Oh, I have to change this one. Oh my god. Now to see what lies beyond it. Yeah, if I get attacked now, I have a lot of weapons to use. Oh. Eclipse. They're here. Avoid contact. Lines look good. Gaia. It's up there. Second floor. Can you reach it? So much for avoiding contact. Well, listen. Oh, I could have just brought the. I wonder if the custom would even have allowed me to do that. Actually.
I need something to climb on. Jeez. How far does he come? Okay. They don't come back behind here. I guess I could do the trip caster, huh? Should we? get caught in this blast though. Over here if you want to.
like, I'm not sure. Either that or it doesn't do a lot of damage to humans. I don't know. Can I get up there to those things? for mentioning things that no longer work after thousands of years. Simulation results. Uh, let's see. Well, you weren't kidding about Gaia's predilection for animal morphologies. Sure, not totally unexpected given the rough natural terrain her bots will have to navigate, but I agree that there's something deeper going on here. Her designs aren't just functional, they feel almost like, well, tributes. Tri tributes is the word that comes to mind, as though she's already mourning their loss. And not just for the disappearing fauna of our time, but creatures from the fossil record too. References to mega fauna and some of her designs. So cool. Well, whatever Gaia thinks up, the other will empower her to build it. I just wish we could still be around in a century or two to see what she makes. Oh, I got three thingies. Okay, let's see. So then I would just need two. Okay. 
for whenever I do um over ride machines. Rather it's for mounting or for combat. Hello, I'm Margo Shen and this is Hephaestus. As the name might tip you off, this is going to be the subordinate function that Gaia will use to make lots and lots of robots. Her personal forge. Except it's not that simple. Um so like you probably noticed that only about a third of you are robotics engineers. The rest, experts in machine cognition, virtual heuristics, that stuff. Well, that's because we aren't going to be the ones designing and building robots. The last thing we want is to burden Guy with a bunch of outmoded 21st century designs. A waste of time. Our purpose is to empower Gaia to build the robots. And not just build, imagine, from scratch. Any robot she needs for any conceivable purpose, designed and fabricated at a snap of a finger. Hers. Her finger. So, Hephaestus isn't really the forge. It's more like the knowledge of craft and ingenuity of a mastersmith to wield the hammer. Encoded as software. Virtual creativity made real. Gaia's already learning. In simulation, she's doing some very creative things with fractal assembly and animal morphologies. Her designs aren't about to win the Liam Prize anytime soon, but hey, everyone has to start somewhere. So, yes, time to get started. Let's do this. I don't get it. Which part? It's a little technical in places. If Gaia was designed to save life, why would the robots it makes attack people? Perhaps it loves some forms of life more than others. The derangement. The machines weren't always so angry. True. Mostly they were docile until 10, 15 years ago. For years, Hephaestus has been forcing cauldrons to make aggressive machines. I've seen it myself, in the cauldrons. Stalkers, ravagers, a thunderjaw. How could it do that? And why? Why indeed. Maybe Gaia has the knowledge of, like, if you go too far, humans would just do the same thing again. Full steam ahead. If I doubted your brilliance in the slightest, I wouldn't have picked you as the Hephaestus Alpha. You need to stop worrying about your age and communication style. You are who you are. Have confidence in yourself. You know what you're doing. Case in point, the latest draft of your plan for the construction and stocking of boot, tra boot, boot trap silos to store raw materials is excellent. This, combined with your design for the AM Foundry Core and the Foundry Site Selection Plan, add up to a comprehensive plan. It's time to start construction. One detail. Consult with Ayamide Oculo before you finalize the silo inventories. Hephaestus' first task would be to fabricate the robots that will construct the waveform broadcast towers Minerva will use to transmit the deactivation codes. So any exotic materials needed for the tower should be accounted for in the inventory plan. Elizabeth. I've seen these shapes before. In cauldrons. But of course. The bristly places of Gaia's machines. Uh, making sure I don't, I don't miss anything. Okay, keep it going. Anything back here? No? Hmm. Perfect opportunity for a crate or something. I don't know. I'd be super nervous to get on any of this rustic chair, uh, stairs or anything, just because it's like, man, these can break. Um, we're getting ready to go to that room, I think. Oh, hey. 
I was just talking about you guys and how to get up to you. I think this is it. Elizabeth Silbeck's this. Sealed off. There's got to be a way inside. Keep looking. More clips. Careful now. So you're trying to get into here? Oh man. I can't really go down there because I'll just won't be able to get back up. Easily, I guess. Oh. Man, I just wanna Would it hurt? Would this hurt? Okay, cool. I just want This might even be odds. I just wanna take stuff. I just want to take stuff with me. Ah! As long as I can shoot them from above, well, that would be perfect. The only other thing I can think of is that, um, like maybe the people that were part of the plan had like their DNA in those sources. And so when they was bringing humans into the world. All of this lost. The ancient's greatest gift to us. Greatest? How about the fact we exist at all? To abide in ignorance is a curse, Aloy. You of all people should know that. So I feel like Aloy... The fact that she was by one of those cradle areas, I I feel like um it she was well I mean like she was a baby but I feel like she was a brand new baby that the that Gaia just gave birth to basically. But why? Don't know. The collective memory of the human species and the wellspring of knowledge for future generations. I am Samina Elbaji. Until recently, I was director of the International Collective Memory Institute in New Tehran. As a heritage professional, I devoted my career to the preservation of human knowledge, creative endeavor, and cultural achievement. Apollo is, therefore, the ultimate embodiment of a lifelong passion, albeit under the very worst circumstances imaginable. The challenges before us are immense. Specifically, we will have to design and implement four major initiatives simultaneously. First, the construction of data repositories in cradle facilities around the world ensuring redundancy. Second, the collection and processing of a projected 180 million discrete data entries. 42 zettabytes of data in Mandarin, English, Spanish, and Arabic. Third, the transferal and encoding of all that data onto DNA encapsulated in synthetic fossils. The only medium capacious and durable enough to safeguard it without degradation for the centuries to come. And last, but not least, the development of the holographic interface and gamified curricula by which future humans will commune with Apollo.
progressively unlocking heuristic learning modules, leveling up their knowledge and skills they will need to take control of the terraforming system. That is the future towards which all of our efforts will be directed. Not just the preservation of the past, but the seed for the flourishing of a new tree of knowledge. Welcome, and let us begin. Okay. So, Apollo, or maybe Gaia herself, was like, if we give the humans so much knowledge, like, so soon, they would just use it to their ends, and it would just cause the same issue. Encapsulated DNA. Uh... I'll let you guys read this. Okay. Okay, there's stairs here. And my death bringer. Um, Apollo update. Over the past two months, the full benefit of our procurement of a copy of the Homer archive from far Zenith has made itself known and as a result, all of Apollo's key deliverables are on schedule. Apollo has already surpassed 40 million discrete data entries and continues to grow. The physical science modules are effectively complete with soft science modules close behind. World history, cultural data, and media archives are also on schedule. Language preservation is wrapping up a bit ahead of schedule due to falling short of our goal to preserve 4,500 languages, as opposed to the tragic early loss of Papua New Guinea doomed that goal from the offset. What attended a uh, curricula development about to begin? Speaking of the heuristic curricula, they are performing well in testing, with children and adults a little demonstrating high levels of engagement with interest in the Aristotle and Aspesia personae. Personally, I find them highly engaging, especially when they debate. I wish half my professors have been so entertaining. Peace be with you, Samina. I just want to just blast them. Okay, so we got one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is this a bomb? Thank you. 
that was the only one that was. Is that if I can get rid of the other guy? Oh gosh, stop. I'd have to ditch something. Wait, which one is it? Oops. A lot of health items. Yep, definitely reminds me of the cauldrons. Oh. Dr. Sobek, please archive this testimonial in Apollo. Cross-reference to all mentions of my name and Operation Enduring Victory. My name is General Aaron Harris. From 2060 to 2066, I served as the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff the highest ranked officer of the United States Armed Forces. The tenure of my command included strategic planning and oversight of Operation Enduring Victory. 
a falsehood perpetrated on the civilian populations in the United States and other nations during the last 14 months of life on this planet. Before the Pharaoh plague, I did my job and did it well. I was bold and decisive, crafty in political maneuvers. It wasn't an accident that I rose to my position and became the commander of the largest mechanized force ever assembled. But to what end? My only lasting achievement was the extinction of life on Earth. And my one redeeming act, if any, was to delay that extinction by days or weeks, by throwing more death at it. It is my hope that there will be no need for men like me in the world to come. If you are one of the people of that future world listening to this message, please note that I am sorry and that I wish you well. Sincerely, Aaron Harris. Mm. Oh, this is just another way to get up. Oh, okay. Ah! Really? Jeez. That's why you need to stop automatically jumping off over stuff. I don't want you to. Welcome to Hades. Mm. Zero Dawn's extinction failsafe protocol. Failsafe. The ultimate killer app. Now, that's why there was a power check. button. The purpose of Gaia is to resurrect life. So why give her a subordinate function, only purpose of which is to wipe out life all over again? I mean, what the what? Just plumb crazy, ain't it? Well, no, it isn't. Reconstituting a biosphere? That's a tall order. Tech smart as Gaia may be, odds are she won't get it right the first time. I mean, imagine your Gaia 200 years from now and this new biosphere growing, it's all gone wrong. Alkalines are skyrocketing, coniferous forests eroding under the lash of superstorms that would have drowned Noah. It's chaos. Spinning top that won't stop wobbling. Now what are you gonna do? Release phase one organisms into that hot mess? Hope their CO2 and methane can balance out what you got started? Hell no. What you're gonna do, Gaia, is step aside while Hades takes over and does what you're just too darn nurturing and life-loving to do. Mm. Which is burn that misbegotten mess of a biosphere to the ground so Gaia can start over. Okay, not burn, more like reverse terraforming operations and suffocating. But you get the idea. Hades takes the biosphere back to zero. Square one, blank slate. And then, only then, does it hand the steering wheel back to Guy and say, Try again, old girl. And better this time, or we'll have to do this again. That's Hades. Pretty badass when you think about it. Extinction on demand, death on speed dial. All for the greater good, of course, but still, kind of metal. So, welcome to Hades. Welcome to the void. Okay, so if that's the original purpose of Hades, why does it want me extinct? We need more data. And how does it end up in the wreckage of a pharaoh titan, getting worshipped by the Eclipse like some kind of god? I'm learning as you are, Aloy. Keep searching. I have a feeling that it got corrupted. Because all of them are just AIs, right? Noise complaints. Kalamika found it, Lizzie. Bashkor, anyone who says that old TT codes to Bashkor is straight up lying. And you know it. 
old trap don't have no truck with commercialized razzle dazz. Nuh uh. Heck, I'd rather guzzle a lit liter of center drum run off than listen to Grey Swarm for 30 seconds. Hand to God and swear on my mama's grave and she was religious. Nah, that ain't Bashcore blasting the Hades lab. Shaking the walls, rattling forks, folks' teeth. It's death metal, girl. Classical music, 80s and 90s mostly. Got me some Dutch deathcore, some Japanese gore grind, some Swedish cannibal themed stuff too. Stop by if you want to listen. Or heck, just come within 50 meters of the lab. Ain't no bash core you'll see, or hear rather, and a screech that rends the air, and feel in the throbbing pulse of the floor and walls and ceiling, swallowing you up like you was Jonah trapped in the gullet of gothic death fish. Hallelujah. <laughs> I just do this crazy. As for those requests to turn it down, no can do, Lizzie. This is how I code. Turn down, turn down my death metal. Might as well give up stimulants, chocolate malts, and industrial accent bits. Last I heard, we was supposed to be code in Hades down here. Am I really supposed to code an extinction protocol without death metal to inspire me? Nah, nah. I don't think so. Stay cool, Trav. Okay, be right back. I need to plug in my cord. Okay, sorry about that. I am back. We're back in business. Alright. Hades. Okay, Hades protocol. Uh, you guys can read this, can't you? So she was bought behind the scenes while Aedes was doing his stuff and would kind of reverse what he did. Um, so that would probably explain why we see Hades and not Gaia because they have her in that back seat so she can't intervene. So we will have to literally wake her up in order to uh, take control again. Or take off the seat belt so she can move to the front seat. To the driver's seat. Archive abuse. Mr. Tate, this small concerns Apollo archive submission. Da 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 da. Your 666 submission in just five days. And oh, what a doozy. Despite earlier warnings, re, in, re inappropriate materials, you chose to submit 265 holographic remasters of acknowledged classics of extreme exportation cinema. Allow me then to thank you on two accounts. One, for giving me the pleasure of rejecting your submission, thereby consigning your favorite Eastern European torture flicks and their ilk to the dust heap of oblivion. It truly warms my heart to know that I have saved future humanity from the ordeal of experiencing not just one, but all 16 installments of Making a Millipede. Don't worry, the Pasolini material has already been preserved. Extreme, perhaps, but art. Two, for clarifying a concept that has so long been ambiguous and ethically fought for, act for activists, archivists such as myself. The definition of obscenity. You have freed me from the subjective quagmire abided in Judge Porter's famous utterance. I know it when I see it. Thanks to you, I can now apply a single objective criterion. If Travis Tate submitted it, it's obscene. Well, currently, I have direct Apollo staff to summarily reject all of your future submissions, sight unseen. Perhaps you m might invest the time you would have spent preparing for other submissions on, oh, I don't know, your assigned work. We have a world to save, after all. Or the rest of us do, anyway. <laughs> Dr. Samina Abaji. Like, yeah, we don't need to know about what you guys did. Uh, okay, that's his stuff. Now, this part looks like it's looks like the only way on more rock than anything. 
rock formation. Jeez Louise. So this looks like a fight. FZ Chambers. The ethnogenic chambers arrived two days ago. I spent the last 36 hours examining them and pouring over technical documentation. They're a revelation, astonishing. I don't know what you had to give far Zenith and trade to get these chambers, but it was worth it. In a single leap, their embryo embryo embryologists have bolted past 50 years of technological shortcomings. The risk of ECMO resolved. Nutrition delivery resolved. Hormonal stability resolved. Trip other risk areas resolved. Before I examined these chambers, I considered the Odyssey to be a fool's errand. But if the rest of FZ's technology is at this level, well, a human colony around Sirius doesn't seem so impossible after all. Mass fabrication of the chambers will present a number of challenges. But I'm confident they can be resolved. I'm going to rest for a few hours, then get back to it. Expect their fabrication plan within 48 hours. PBK. Is that the one that was uh, thinking that what we was doing was going to be a colony? No halo? Okay. I see some more stuff to scan. Are these what I what I think Body. they are? Artificial wounds. Oh. Machines to spawn a new generation of human beings. Oh. Cradles Servitor Personae. Personae. Development of the artificial personae for cradles, servitors, nurturer, di disciplinarian, healer continues as a, at a good, good pace. We are targeting Turing 0.4 for these constructs. This should allow low grade empathy and limited improvisation without undermining adherence to a codified behavior sets. The stimulus driven switching of per personae. The, uh, however, is proven to be a greater software challenge than anticipated, especially concerning our entrenched feedback loops between the disciplinarian and healer. I have also attached the reports from an incident where a servitor running the mother persona intervened on a disciplinary surveyor's behavior, a parental argument, if you will, amusing on the first glance, perhaps, but deeply concerning. I have attached a comprehensive plan for correcting these interactive protocol shortcomings in just data corrupted. Hmm. Cradle sealed. Sh sh sealed. Elithuvia 01 was successfully sealed before the swarm advancing across Xinjiang province could detect it. Ping back from cr crucial systems is good for a maiden voyage of success. Regards my disputes with the betas over Zygote selection, of course I understand we have limited overhead to run simulations of gene fl flow in all future humans, but we can all agree there is margin to refinement in future cradle populations. Um, in addition to person personally overseeing completion of, of the site inside Mount Namali, I would formulate and propose a modified zygote selection plan within the week. So this is called cradle, right? Now, there is, so like in Nora land, right? Like all that stuff is based off mother. So we have mother's heart. And there is one that is called the cradle, this one. 
But that's not where they found us. We were found at the rise, right? Hmm, interesting. I just find it interesting that stuff that, uh, the terms that are used in these documents are the same kind of terms that are used in other areas, even though this information was not passed down like it was planned on. It just naturally happened. Now granted, yeah. Um as a society I feel like they will always be like Mother Earth uh without someone telling them. Now granted, would they have the same term for mother? Cleaning facilities. Elizabeth said a, a new generation of humans would be spawned inside such places. She did. Oh, Mother Mountain. It was one of them? Probably. There's only one way to be sure. But it would have... The hatch wouldn't open. Something, something about a corrupted alpha registry. I need to search Elizabeth's office. Um, now granted, what they call... As far as, like, the geography and places that we call, like, where everything is, when it really exists in this particular society because they don't have those same names. So really, if they say, oh, this one was, was planted at Mount whatever, like, it wouldn't say that in the actual, on the actual map, because it doesn't exist technically as that particular title you know can I go up further no okay okay so this was her office Table over here. Gotcha. Looks like it used to hold something. This would benefit from antelope and eagle morphology. Shush. Though capric forms show superior load bearing capability. You're a quick study, Gaia. Dr. Sobek, as I have conducted this comparative analysis of mammalian morphologies, I've gathered extensive data on the quaternary extinction event. Oh? And your assessment? Gaia? Logically speaking, the extinction was a natural consequence. And yet... And yet... I find the loss of megafaunal species... unaccountably sad. Though they passed forever into oblivion... causes me to experience... a grief... that is difficult to describe. Am I malfunctioning? <sighs> no, no, Gaia, you're not. This is good. It's very good. Oh my gosh, stop jumping on things, girl. You will undergo a brief period of unconsciousness during relocation to Prime and final statement. Elizabeth, may I speak outside protocol? When you're back up and running at the new site, we'll bring the subordinate functions online and see where we stand. Elizabeth, I detect distress. Are you alright? I'm fine. Mm -hmm. I realize that circumstances compel us to launch earlier than we hoped. But all subsystems are operational. The odds stand in our favor. But what if... Guy, there's nothing left out there. You can't even survive unless you're wearing an environmental oh. suit. There are billions dead in fear and agony. What if... What if it was all for nothing? Elizabeth, extinction was inevitable. Thanks to you, life will have a future. You really believe that? I believe in you, Elizabeth. In you? Oh, gosh darn it. The batteries ran out. Can't hear any more of that. Probably was corrupted, which is why I didn't record all the way. 
or it did uh, record, but data was corrupted as it's remained here on the red. Pure logic won't cut it, Ted. To pull this off, Guy is going to need to have some skin in the game. It has to care. What if it runs amok? Have we learned nothing from our mistakes? Your mistakes, I think you mean? All I'm saying is give it a kill switch. She was just born, Ted. I'm not going to put a gun to her head while she's still in the cradle. You talk like it's a child. What if it becomes a monster? I'm here, you know. Elizabeth, may I speak outside protocol? <sighs> of course, Gaia, go on. I'm sorry to contradict you, but Mr. Farrow's argument is sound. At this point, the development of my psyche is not entirely predictable. To ensure preservation of life, a hardwired override is, I believe, a necessary safeguard. There. Satisfied, Ted? Jeez, let's just do what it says. And that's where Hades came in. But no, mm-mm. Hades is this destroys the biosphere so she can start again. A kill switch would probably be something outside of them that would shut all of them down. If things go wrong, where it's just like, might as well just kill everyone, even the AI. Well, I think that's everything here. say something before I start exploring Odyssey has failed oh some terrible news I'm afraid far Zenov has informed me that the Odyssey mission has failed last night telemetry indicated a catastrophic antimatter containment failure as the drive spun up to depart the solar system the ship is crew is cargo of zygotes and seeds as Alpha build of Apollo all were lost. Zero Dawn is now the only hope for the continuation of the human species and earthly life. We must secede. What will she have in here? Artemis status. It's coming along, Liz. I'm posi positive about it. If those words can still mean anything, have my sleeves rolled up negotiating with frozen zoos for their samples. So many species trapped in ghoulish hologram di dioramas, suspended in what ifs. More than 14,000 that went extinct between 2000 and 2043. We started mapping out primary succession, selecting the pioneer organisms for a balanced and sustainable biosphere, microorganisms and insects, rabbits and hawks, foxes and wolves, thousands more that would that will have to wait their turn until your until a new generation can be entrusted with the duty of restoring them. So they can return to a world that this time will understand the concept of conservation before it's too late. There have already been too many too late. We lost a whole collection team during the swarm breakthrough in Maya Moore. The samples we lost were, well, irreplaceable. But thanks to you, Liz, the circle of life will bend, not break. The Earth was a lifeless rock before, and someday it would be again. But not now, not like this, not on our watch. Ronson. Speaking of wolves, we haven't even seen wolves. Anyway. Are there wolves in the, the sequel? I mean, like, it's been out for a bit, so I feel like they would... I just don't want to spoil myself, so I'm not looking at it. The Alpha Registry Master File. Intact? Yeah. No signs of corruption. Then what are you waiting for? Copy the file. With this, I can restore the registry at the hatch inside All Mother. Open it. Hey, we're going back home. 
Dude, we're almost at two hours. Maybe. Maybe who gave birth to me? Who? Are you really so naive? What gave birth to you? Who waiting for you there, Aloy? Whatever birthed you into the world was a what not a who. You bastard. Oh no, I had a legitimate birth. It's you, Aloy, who are the creation of a machine. But what kind of machine and why? Why were you created? Uh oh. Eclipse. You need to get out of there. What you found is too valuable. You're too valuable. Duck! Well, that happened. Still alive. Good. Oh, Hades. Hades. I have a more suitable death in mind for you, child. Oh, that's the one that has uh, Haji's voice actor. At least it sounds like it. A like a lot. Oh man. My entire life I've always known one thing with prophetic. Yeah, that's certainty, Haji. That's Haji all the way. That I was destined for glory as a great champion of the sun. Even when Jaron was murdered, even when Meridian fell, I never doubted my destiny. Until you came along. When I heard that you had survived, a doubt took root in my mind. As sure as the sun rises and falls each day, those I am bade to kill die. And yet I failed. How? Why? With each dig site you attacked, each loyal soldier you killed, this pestering doubt grew. It grew when High Priest Bahavas went missing, and when the true Sun King Itamen was snatched away. It not only grew, but multiplied. I kept thinking of the moment my knife pierced your throat. Hold on. So wait, so does that mean, like, since we did that quest beforehand, that that happened? Or would he have still said that even if we did not do that quest but actually, no, 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 no. They wanted us to do this quest because they said like there was a point of no return. So we had to get that particular quest done or any other quest. Okay, continue. One twist, a simple tug of the blade and you would have bled out. In slaughter, I am a practiced hand. So why hesitate? Why fail my destined purpose? Can I go through each one of these? Oops. I guess even a monster like you can have a glimmer of conscience. You didn't kill me right away. Turn your face to the sun, child. Dressing up murder as religious sacrifice so you could feel better about it? No. I never doubted the righteousness of killing you. And yet, your words touch close to the truth. In my heart, I deemed the order to kill you unworthy of me. You were just a savage girl. So I thought at the time. Even still, I aimed to kill you. And yet did not. This failing troubled my thoughts. Haunted every step. It was only when I captured you down in that place that I finally glimpsed the sun's design etched at length across the course of events you were meant to survive that day on the mountain meant to interfere at dig sites and kill my men meant to eliminate high priest Bahavas that wasn't me meant to snatch Itaman away that wasn't me conversely 
I was meant to capture you. Here. So that you might die as a sacrificial offering to the sun. Everything as it was meant to be. Predestined and preordained. Aw. You're a thug, you're a fool, you're a puppet. Probably fool. You're an idiot. A dangerous idiot. But an idiot. All this talk of destiny and fate. I'm sure Hades speaks the same language, doesn't he? You're being played for a fool. Hades is an ancient machine, not the buried shadow of Karja myth. It doesn't care about Meridian. It wants to kill everything and everyone. And you are its dutiful slave. I serve not the buried shadow, but the sun in shadow. What? All halves of nature join to one cause. Shadow to sun, dark to light. Do you really not hear how ridiculous that sounds? You've gone from serving an insane homicidal sun king to an insane homicidal machine. You're moving down in the world, not up. I'll remember those words as I watch your corpse burn. Whatever's left of it. You fail to grasp the point. As surely as you've been conquered, so has all doubt. And with certainty of belief comes unstoppable force. Then come to the cage and put your faith to the test. See if things work out like you expect. The circle has closed. Every element is in its proper place, exactly where it belongs. The errant beast, now caged, will serve her true purpose. A sacrificial animal. Oh, speaking of sacrifice, I forgot to tell you. After you crash the Eclipse Network, I sent messengers into the east to rally the forces there and mount an invasion of the sacred... Oh, no! I ordered every Nora killed. I was hoping to catch you there, but alas, it all seems to have been unnecessary. They cast me out. Needless slaughter. They're irrelevant. I want to say that. Needless slaughter. Why butcher dozens of innocents for no gain? It's a waste of effort. You're right. I won't even be there to enjoy it. In any case, I couldn't recall the order even if I wished to. Thanks to your destruction of the network, communication over distances is impossible. You not only doomed yourself, but an entire tribe. Do we not see the scorching judgment of the sun in these events? I see how that I keep on picking the middle option. Your focus. Such a powerful device, isn't it? And yet, so... No! My baby. <sighs> so you see, this time... I did not hesitate. The knife has already been twisted. Can you not see the proof of the 
son's blessing before your eyes? How can such a speech prowl in broad light of day? Were they not approved by the son and joined to our cause? Many years ago, to consecrate this great ring, the radiant Turan ordered many faithless, crushed beneath the hooves of the behemoth. Mighty is the behemoth in the eye of the sun, but it is mightier still in view of the power of shadow. Let this one, who schemed and slithered, be the first to die. Let her be the first of thousands. Uh, what am I supposed to do here? Like, seriously, what am I supposed to do here? Yeah, 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 I heard you the first time. Can I do the other one? The other pillar? Can I still do that? I want it to hit this. Hit this one. Leave me alone, girl. Can you come over here? Thank you.
Uh oh, that's not what I wanted. Oh, I forgot that I had that those things on. I did it. I'm too awesome. Silence. Where did all these people come from? Let me loot the behemoth. to loot the behemoth. Ooh, ravagers. I mean, sawtooth. Yeah, I think those are saw teeth. The Nora Sacred Mountain would never have given up its secrets. Too bad you wasted your time then. Helis destroyed my focus. And the Alpha Registry with it. Not at all. The whole time I've been monitoring your focus, I duplicated every data file you scanned. Oh, great. Installing that data to a new focus was trivially easy. Happy birthday, Isaac. Daddy sure does love his little big man. You're really good at making it impossible to like you, Silence. But I showed us like, how was I going to do this? It's time to see where you were born. Maybe you'll even learn why. Yeah. Meet the machine that birthed me into this world. Isn't that how you put it? I'll be off. What? Wait. Yes? Um, how did you find me? You can override machines. I think I'm more concerned about like, if he can track focuses and Mice is the only one that wasn't crashing the network because it didn't belong to the network in the pr first place. I don't think that's a huge, like, he knows that we was at Sunfall. I think the whole thing would be, and he did say that he used to work for the Shadow Karja. So I think my main thing is, like, we always thought that our spear could do the overriding. Since when can you override machines? But Ever since you discovered the technique. 
I had to destroy a corrupted to obtain the necessary parts, of course. But your example showed me how to do that as well. Yet another benefit of monitoring your activities through your focus. Truth be told, the underlying logic of the technique isn't so different from rites practiced by Banuk shamans. Though, of course, far more advanced. Great. You're welcome, I guess. Oh, I can do all the questions. Great. Helis recognized you back in the Sun Ring. You told me that you'd assisted the Eclipse. Not that you knew the man who killed my... Who almost killed me. So now you know. The man is a serious threat. So let's do all we can to make sure that he and Hades don't succeed. Right. Okay. How did you track my location when I wasn't wearing a focus? Really, Aloy? It doesn't take a genius to surmise that Helis would throw you into the sun ring at high noon. Oh, wow. I wore out two striders getting here in time, but I did. Now be on your way. Okay. I'll be on my way. <sighs> to make matters worse, Helis ordered an Eclipse detachment to attack the Nora sacred land. The tribe's already weak. They won't stand a chance. You should come with me. Well, absolutely not. I have preparations to make elsewhere. What kind of... <sighs> Why do I bother asking? You're not gonna tell me. Nope. When the time is right, I'll be in touch. I'll contact you later. In the meantime, should you need to return to Shadow Carja territory, I brought armor to conceal your identity. You think of everything, don't you? One of us has to. Aloy, when you were recovering the Alpha Registry down in the Zero Dawn bunker, I was needlessly cruel. For your sake, I hope there is someone waiting there for you inside the mountain. Not a what, but a who. I need a uh, fire. <laughs> oh? Hey, Terror of the Sun. Okay, so that's. Oh, I got two already. Shadow Stalwart. Oh. Will make for a good disguise and steals is wear just against blinding effects. Highly customizable. Oh, huh, interesting. So I guess if I have any quest in the area, maybe? Heart of Nora. Got it. Great. Uh, let's see. Mount repair, machine repair. Um, I uh, will wait until I have two more. I almost forgot how to ride one. I need more. Okay, so how far? Oh, I just passed one. Now, we have a long way. Do I, do I really want to try? Mm. So we have to get here. I guess maybe, wait, wait, ooh. Are those bad people? Maybe I should put on my this outfit until I get further away. I just gotta tough the storm out. Stop letting me highlight them. Oh, 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 oh. Where did I go? Oh. Shaman must pass 
Don't worry about it. Ooh. I'm gonna go as far as I can. Because this will be nearly the longest I'll be able to... Nope. F off. Oh! Can I save? Okay, stop. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. No, oh, why are you saying stuff that was missions ago? Oh, we're going to have to stop here because it can't go into town. I guess this is as far as we can go, buddy. Oh, I just realized I have this thing on. Wow. It didn't take that long to get here. Um, so let's see. I think that's pretty good. To be in Nora, Nora territory and then save here. Uh, let's see. So I'm going to stay on my stuff, save, and then call it up for the episode. I'll probably just speed up that part. See anything you like? Sure you do. Um, so let's see.
Okay. So yeah, we're going to save that here and continue on to All Mother in the next episode. So go ahead and save. So with that, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, whatever you want to do. Enjoy the rest of your day or your night. And this is Kichigo signing out. Goodbye, everyone.